Engineers thought it would be impossible. Architects thought it would be impractical. Physicists thought it would defy the laws of nature. But despite all of these, these mega projects were still built, and they are a testament to human ingenuity and commitment. The ISS is a modular space station that's orbiting planet Earth approximately 15.5 times per day. The space station is traveling at a speed of 17,100 miles per hour, or 27,600 kilometers per hour every single day. There are seven astronauts on board. They all thought it would be impossible to build. However, the joint effort of NASA, CSA, Roscosmos, the Japanese JAXA, and the European ESA proved everyone wrong. After 10 years of work and about 30 separate missions, the 980,000 pound, 440 kilogram space station was launched into orbit on November 20th, 1998. Since then, it has orbited the Earth and served mankind. Invaluable scientific projects have been conducted on board the space station, along with research and testing. The Museum of the Future, currently located in the Financial District of Dubai, is one of the strangest projects ever built. It's not a sculpture. It's an actual museum that people can enter and see what's inside. At first, architects thought an egg-shaped building with Arabic letters engraved on the outside and a hollow center would be impossible to build. But on February 22, 2022, they proved everyone wrong. The date was chosen because it was a palindrome meaning it reads the same from both sides. The museum was mainly developed to smash that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, it was developed to promote human innovation and ingenuity with a focus on AI and robotics. King Kong had no problem scaling the Empire State Building, but that was only 1,250 feet. The Burj Khalifa, the undisputed record holder of the world record for the tallest building in the world is almost twice as high. The building has held the title since 2009 when it dethroned Tepe 101. The building was constructed from reinforced concrete. An interesting fact is that some of the steel on the Burj Khalifa comes from the demolished Palace of the Republic in East Berlin. The name originated from Khalifa bin Zayed, the second president of the UAE. There are 154 floors, with an additional 9 maintenance floors, and the building is 2,717 feet, 828 meters tall. The building has an area of 3.3 million square feet, or 309,000 square meters. To construct the Burj Khalifa, 1.5 billion was required. Some call it a masterpiece of 20th century architecture. Others marvel at the beautiful design of the Opera House, but all agree that this is probably one of the most famous landmarks in Australia. It was designed by Danish architect John Utzon and then completed by Peter Hall. It was opened to the public on October 20, 1973, and it initially cost 102 million US dollars. That's about 1 billion US dollars adjusted for inflation. People say that it has unparalleled design and construction. On top of that, it hosts 2,500 performances annually and attracts 4 million visitors. The official length of the Great Wall of China is 13,170.7 miles, 21,196.18 kilometers, which is half the length of the equator. However, about a third of the wall has vanished without a trace. The height of the wall ranges between 16 and 26 feet, and the Chinese Qin Dynasty needed the help of every soldier, peasant, convicts, and prisoners of war to build it. Despite what most say, you can't see the wall of China from outer space. However, you should not touch it if you get close, because it's poisonous. It has arsenic in the binder to stop ants from eating into it. Instead of boarding a plane from France to the UK, you can now take the train and be there in about 35 minutes. The Chanel Tunnel is 31.3 miles, 50 kilometers long railway tunnel that goes 250 feet, 75 meters underwater. In some places, it reaches a depth of 380 feet, 115 meters. Because the trains have to travel underwater, the speed limit is set at 100 miles per hour. When the Panama Canal was constructed, for the first time in human history, you could avoid the lengthy and perilous journey from the Atlantic to the Pacific through the Cape Horn route, the Drake Passage, or the Strait of Magellan. Now, you only need to smash that subscribe button to get to the Pacific. But no, seriously, 
Now you only need to cross 51 miles, 82 kilometers, to get to the west coast of America. The construction of the Panama Canal was one of the most difficult tasks in the world, and many people lost their lives while digging the artificial waterway. However, all of that served a greater purpose in the end. The Large Hard-On Collider is one of the most dangerous structures on planet Earth. Before it was constructed, scientists feared that it would be powerful enough to create a black hole and swallow Earth as we know it. However, that didn't happen, and CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, built it between 1998 and 2008 with the help of over 10,000 scientists from hundreds of universities across the globe. The tunnel they constructed is 17 miles, 27 kilometers long, and it's placed 574 feet, 175 meters beneath the Earth. Four of these dams would produce enough electricity to power all of France. The Three Gorges Dam is located in the Hubei province in China right on the Three Gorges on the Yangtze River. The construction began in December of 1994, and the dam was finally completed in 2003, after the Chinese government spent 31.7 billion US dollars to build this colossal structure and relocate about 140,000 people from the region. The building itself is 7,661 feet and has a height of 594 feet. The total width of the Three Gorges Dam is 131 feet, and at the base, that width is measured at 377 feet, 115 meters. Every year since 2003, the Gorges Power Plant has produced 101 kilowatts of power per year. One of the biggest mysteries of the modern world has to be the Great Pyramid of Giza. There are numerous pyramids in Egypt, meant to represent the final resting place of the numerous pharaohs. However, the Pyramid of Giza is different. The structure is so big that no one to this day knows exactly how it was built. Some theories say slaves were pulling the blocks using ropes and levers. Some say they were rolling them on the wet sand in wooden logs. And there are even those that claim the pyramid was constructed by aliens. We don't know if green-headed extraterrestrials built this structure, but we do know that Pharaoh Khufu is the one who commissioned the building in the 26th century BC. The building is 481 feet, 1446 meters tall, and it's considered the tallest man-made structure that is also 3,800 years old. The pyramid is so big that if you were to take each of those rocks and line them next to each other, you could cover the circumference of the Earth in a belt of rocks twice. And that's not all. Back in the 26th century, when the pyramid was first constructed, the outside was lined with white limestone and it had a golden top. Sadly, the beautiful white limestone and the gold were sold after the death of Khufu. See you in the next video.